Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I hope that you guys are all doing well today. So today I have a haul to share with you guys. It is a variety of things for my fourth grader and my pre k -er. I think I have some supplies in here and yeah, so I have done multiple hauls. Um, I'm not sure if this is gonna go up before the other ones, but I just wanted to let you know that I did keep them kind of to a minimal and I have more videos instead of them really long just because I know that all of you mamas are super busy. I know it's summertime for some of you. Some of you guys are trying to get curriculum ready. Some of you guys are on vacations, things like that, taking your kids out, playing, doing things like that. So I tried to keep the videos down to a minimum for you guys. So hopefully that is helpful. Um, so today I am just going to start sharing different things with you guys. They're in no particular order. So let's go ahead and get into this haul. So if you know me and my channel, you know for our homeschool, we use Knotgrass for our history. I talk about it all the time and we do unit studies. I use Knotgrass as a base and then the topics that I want to kind of dive deeper into, we are working through unit studies. So for this coming up school year for my fourth grader, we're also going to be doing history with my third grade niece. So for our third grader and fourth grader, we are going to be working through Alexander Alexander Graham Bell. I can never say it, you guys. I don't know why, but Alexander Graham Bell. And so I picked up these books. These were on Amazon. They are by DK Adventures. It's the first telephone. So I picked up two of these, one for myself, one for my daughter. I always like to have a second book so I can read through as she is reading or she could read through as I'm reading or Ari when she's reading. So we can all read together, you guys, basically. So here are some of the pages. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna be putting my own little unit studies together with these books or if I'm just gonna be creative and throw in some activities. I think I'm gonna be kinda of all over the place this year doing unit studies, doing activities, hands-on things, stuff like that. I know that we're gonna be doing some field trips that I'm really excited about to go along with them. So stay tuned if you guys are interested in things like that. Um, so those we picked up for that unit study. We also picked up these Scholastic books on Alexander Graham Bell as well. Um, I picked up two, this is through Scholastic. I believe you can get them through Amazon as well. I belong to Scholastic as like a teacher member so you get certain perks or resources. So make sure you guys if you do want Scholastic to try to sign up for that because being a homeschooling parent, you can actually get the benefits of a teacher. So this has photos in it and then it has like comic looking photos. It looks like cartoonish. So I thought that this one would be fun too. I'm not sure if we're gonna read through both of them or if I'm just gonna pick through some of them and read some pages in this one, some pages in that. I'm just not sure how I'm gonna work it out so far, but. When it gets to that time, I will have a clear um, direction on where I'm going. I can't think, you guys. Okay, so the next book I have here is Hidden Figures. This is through Scholastic as well. We will be working through this in our history. I want to dive deeper into this. I want the kids to watch this movie. We have different um, books that have some of the women in the books and I'm just really excited about this. So I know I'm gonna be putting some sort of unit study together with this book. I think it'll be super fun. I wanna do some activities. It's always nice hearing about women that are strong and um, courageous and just excel, you know? So just to show our girls, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, nothing matters. So I'm really excited about this one. Scholastic again, I believe you can get it on Amazon. I think that when you purchase it through Amazon, it's a hard back though. I don't think it's a soft back. So I'm not sure. Another thing I picked up that I'm really excited about is the 100 Extraordinary Stories for Courageous Girls. It's Unforgettable Tales of Women and Faith. 
So I picked up a book, Her Story. I'm not sure if you guys have seen it yet or if I'm putting that video out after this one, but it's about 50 courageous women. And I purchased that one first. And then when I saw this one that had Faith and Courageous, I was like, I need this one. Cause the Faith, I mean, it, it really just, really just makes all the difference when you have some women of faith involved. So I got this, it says, let's see here, this collection of 100 extraordinary stories of women and faith from the Bible, history, and today will empower you to know and understand how women have made a difference in the world and how much smaller our faith and the biblical record would be without them. So this one looks really good. I'm so excited for this. I'm trying to peek to see if you guys can see, but that, that I'm really excited about. I can't remember if I got that from Amazon or Christian book. I think I got it from Amazon, but you can get it from Christian book as well. So I picked up this reader. It's the secret of the hidden scrolls. This is book two. We read book one. I loved it. You guys, I read it as a read aloud to the kids. They all loved it. And we have a second grader, a third grader and a seventh grader. And I read it to all three of them and they loved it. The only one that didn't really care for it was my son. He's, I don't know, stayed with us a couple minutes, maybe each day to listen to it, but that was it. But this is a race to the ark is a chapter book and it does have some pictures in it they're not colored pictures or anything but any pictures are pretty cool for any age I don't think you outgrow pictures at all in a book so I picked this up as a read aloud I'm not sure if I'm gonna have my daughter read it on her own or if I'm gonna read it with them another one I picked up a long walk to water I'm still debating if I'm going to read this this year or if I'm going to read this next year to my daughter because I think next year we're going to be doing more of um, world like geography and stuff. So I don't know if I want to read this while I'm reading through world geography, but I know it's one that is definitely going to be on our list for reading this year or next year. Um, it says Naya goes to the pond to fetch water for her family. She walks eight hours every day. Salvo walks away from his war-torn village. He is a lost boy refugee destined to cover Africa on foot, searching for his family and safety. This I'm definitely going to read, but again, I don't know this year or next year. So the next couple books are going to be for my son. He's in preschool and we are doing unit studies for each letter. So, so we're going to be working through weather for W. So I picked up this super cute book. This is through Amazon. It is all about weather. Um, it's a first weather book for kids. So I thought that that one would be fun for my son. And then I picked up Bones, Bones, Dinosaur Bones. This is a scholastic book. And we're gonna be working through dinosaurs. So I thought that this one would be fun. Super bright and colorful. Uh-oh, sorry guys. I think I just showed you guys that page. This is me and my amazing body going to be working through the human body for age. So I thought that this one would be good. It's aimed more for younger kindergartners, preschoolers. So I thought that this one would be a good one to read. So this is just supplies. I've already hauled these before, but for those of you who haven't seen, these are pouches. And I am using them for science unit studies and I'm using it for my son's unit studies. They are working perfectly, you guys. So it comes with a set of 12. They have the three holes for a binder. It has this little button pouch. You can open it up so you don't lose anything. It has this little paper on here where you can label it. Um, I, did, I did hear from one of you guys that you guys poke or punch out this little button and so when you have multiples in the binder it doesn't 
bulge up in that section because that's what I noticed is like where the button is, it's super bulgy. But she said she just took this out and she tucks it in like that. And that has been working for her. So I don't know if you guys want to try that if it bothers you. I thought that that was a pretty cool idea. But I picked more of these up because I just love them and I know I'll use them. So we have those. The last thing I have here is for my son. This is Feed the Woozle. It's a kid's game. It looked good and it has really good ratings. It's for three plus, two to five players. It takes about 15 minutes to play. It teaches gross motor skills, balance, body awareness, counting, and language development. It got the best toy award, you guys, so you know it's good. That is what comes in the box. That is it for today's haul, you guys. I hope that you guys saw something in here that intrigued you or that sparked an idea for yourselves in your homeschool. So that is it for today. Thank you all for hanging out with me. I always appreciate your guys' comments and your likes. Be sure to hit that subscribe if you haven't already become a part of this homeschooling family. It is growing and I just love it. I love being able to conversate with you guys and seeing what your guys' thoughts on things are. So with that being said, have a wonderful week. Be safe, be blessed, and I will see you next time. Bye guys. Had more of your smile. What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars.